shadow. Hey guys, it's Ted Bogert. Welcome back to the Ted Show. I love this guest, a regular featured guest on the Ted Show, the one and only Dr. Professor Michael B. Timmons. What's up, Mike? How you doing? What's up? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Professor Timmons. Um, you are a specialist in all sorts of things. Uh, but we're going to talk about aqu aquaculture and all of the stuff that goes along with that, sustainability, fish. We're learning so much as we go. And I'm telling you guys, if you're not on this bandwagon, you're missing out because it is the wave of the future. I just wish it had been the wave of the future earlier than now. Uh, so welcome, Mike. How you doing? Hey, good morning, Ted. Uh, I am honored to be on your show again. And I don't know what you know. I do kind of enjoy doing this. I do too. I love it. You've got a great, that's why you're a great instructor. And that's why, you know, people like to listen to you. You don't, you make a topic which could be very confusing for most enjoyable. So that's why I love you educating all of the viewers. All right. So before you get into that, before we take another deeper dive into aquaculture, tell us a little bit about you for those people who don't know. Yeah, so this is our fourth show. I think. Yes. Four. Four. And, uh, I keep getting uh, critiques from my producer, i.e. my brother. <laughs> don't do this and don't do this. And you know, I keep answering. So I keep, I think I'm getting a little better, right? You know, so you I'm, have done something and tweaked it every week. So yeah. kudos to you. So I got a, uh, I was telling you, I got a new microphone today, but once I plugged it in, we couldn't hear anything. So You know, it's funny because I wish I knew how to tell you because I can't tell you how many times guests actually try to use their new microphone and it's something about how you, where you plug it in. So you'll figure that out for the next one, I'm sure. Well, this is a teaching tool because this is kind of like this technology, right? And if you have technology that's so complicated that no one can use it, Technology is not very helpful. So Correct. this is like aquaculture system technology. The simpler that we can make it, the better chance it has of succeeding. So I'm all about simple. Simple, simple, simple. K-I-S-S. -S -S, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> you know, stupid you know. All right. So define aquaculture for them that they don't, you know, a lot of people listen to the show. They know what the word aqua means or aqua means water. Um, but tell them a little bit about the actual science behind this. Yeah, so aqua culture, there's two words there, aqua and culture. If I ask you, hey, Ted, what is agriculture? You farming. Are, exactly. Right. So agriculture is farming of the soil, land. Exactly. So aqua means farming of the water. Yes, you got it. That is aquaculture, farming of the water. Pay okay, attention. I don't know. <laughs> You're my A student. That's amazing. Almost all my students get A's because Cornell, you know, Cornell, I'm from Cornell. You know, you can always tell a man from Cornell, but you can't tell him very much. Right? Still one of my favorites. But only a man from Cornell can say that. Yeah. So anyway, we, uh, I teach, I'm actually still teaching as a professor emeritus at Cornell, and I'm teaching aquaculture. And uh, we have, so, so we, we have something that's called capstone design. So a culminating experience, so there are four years, they have to do a capstone design project. And wow. so I, I teach a course remotely to uh, Cornell, and uh, I did something I've always wanted to do. You know what it was? Tell me. I gave each student an oral exam. Ooh. So, see, some students. That sounds some, crazy. Yeah, some students just don't take tests well, okay? But if I can individually test you, see, I can kind of figure out, you know, what you know and what you don't know, okay? Good. So that worked out pretty well. So then there's this. There's this, there's this TV show, I forget what it's like, Family Feud or something, and, they, and then Final Events comes to the lightning round, right? And so they go, Ted, okay, what's a, what's a number between two and four? And you go, three, oh, okay, next question. <laughs> what color is the sky? Blue, you know? So it's, they call this the lightning round, it's how, like, how many things you get right, right? Yes. 
Okay. Is this lightning uh, round for me? Is that what we're saying? Yeah, uh, but I, I did a light. I told the students, right, the review said, I said, we're going to have a lightning round. And I go, oh, you know. So I said, yeah, you know, I, I don't believe in memorization, but like engineers, basically to be an engineer, you got to be able to use tables. Okay. Yes. And so like if I, if, if you were my boss, right, and you said, okay, Mike, we got a client, you got to design this project, you probably wouldn't tell me, you can't open the book. Oh, yes, the book. Let's give that front and center. Hold on. I'm a little behind on my uh, cues here. What is that book, Mike? It is kind of called the yellow book because it is yellow, okay, but the name is... <laughs> Recirculating Aquaculture, and uh, there are the authors. See, I'm an author, right? I'm also the publisher. I'm a capitalist pig, what can I say? There it is. All right, so tell me about aquaculture because it's farming of the water. Yeah, yeah. Now, that doesn't make any sense to most people, although you've been educating us very well the last couple of weeks. I think it's good we continue to learn um, yeah. and learn maybe some of the uses, why this is important for the neighborhoods and communities uh, locally and globally. What is this? That is water. Very good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Could have been vodka, but it's not. <laughs> we would have never known. <laughs> okay, so this is water and in recirculating aquaculture. Okay, uh, it uses water to raise fish, right? That's aquaculture, okay. And then uh, I actually have another thing here. So uh, and, uh, you can't just eat fish, right? You have to eat some vegetables. So we have hydroponics. That's where you grow the plants in water, soilless cultures. So oh, that's, that's hydroponics, right? So we have uh, aquaculture growing things in the water, right? And so, hey, Ted, so here's a fish tank. I'm going to put a fish in there. There's my fish. Oh, look at the size of that goldfish, orange fish. Oh, no, it's an orange. Ball. It's an orange roughy. Can't you see? <laughs> it's an orange roughy. Yes, orange roughy. My bad. That's correct. Okay, okay, okay. So now, what do you and I like to do like two or three times a day? I don't know the answer to that. Eat. Okay, good. That's where we're going. Eat. Yes. Right, right, right. Eat. We eat, right? So my fish are just like that too. See, they like to be fed. Look, I'm feeding them. See, look. <laughs> I'm putting you front and center for this, Mike. People okay. gotta see it. So now we have now we have fed the fish. Okay. We fed the fish. The orange ruffy is now eating. It's eating. You have to have a little imagination here. You're okay. The fish are eating. And when they eat, what do they do? They grow a little bit. Right, and yep. they, I'm going to use a really highly technical term. They poop. <laughs> there you have it, kids. We're talking about poop at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Wednesday. Fish so, poop. Uh -oh. <laughs> what happened to my screen? So uh, what happens to, uh, can you see me? Oh, we have it. Oh, oh, so, you know, I didn't touch my screen quick enough. So now I got to do. We can see can. you, Mike, and hear you. Okay, so but I like seeing you. It's so nice. Okay, so well, so remember, I, I do uh, this occasionally. You don't do it. I do this. Yeah, yeah. So uh, anyway, so our fish pool, right? So these are new. So so to make maintain this water quality like this, right? We had to move a lot of water through the fish tank. Okay, a lot of water. Okay, and so conventional fish farming uses a lot of water. And Ted might say, oh, hey, Dr. T, how much water do they use? And I'm like, whoa, a big amount, right? And so I'll say, you know, if I use the principles in my yellow book, okay, I will use one five thousandth of the water that conventional fish farming would use. And Ted would go, whoa, right? I go, yeah, we use almost no water to raise our fish. And Ted would go, whoa, that is really cool. But we, okay, so a little bit of water. And so 
uh, a little bit of water and um, he's, okay. he's making experiments <laughs> there, guys. Making you still with us, Mike? Okay. I'm back. See, I had to, I had to touch the thing. I had to touch my computer. I'm back. I like to see you. You never I, left, I, by the way. We can hear you and see you while you're doing that. I know. I figured out. I was trying to be careful not to like pick my nose. <laughs> okay. Okay. So All right. now, now, so back to the science. Okay, this is serious, right? Okay, most of what you feed the fish turns into a waste load on the water column. Okay, and we have to move water through there so that the fish are happy. Okay, because they have to have good water quality, like the Atlanta Aquarium or something, right? Okay, so hmm, there's all those nutrients. Wow. If we said to the plants that are hydroponic or the ground, hey, wouldn't you like to have natural organic nutrients? And they'll go, yes, Dr. Timmons, we would like to have natural organic I like the I plants. Like the plants. Very, good. very good. Oh, yeah. It's very happy. <laughs> so we go, oh, have we got the deal for you? We're going to give you nutrients from the fish. And they go, wow, this is great. So we will give them nutrients from the fish, and then all the nutrients that the plants need come from the fish. Wow. So this is a called a more sustainable system. Why is that why is that important from a perspective of feeding people and getting uh, good food out to people? Why is this even a big deal? Are we running out of land? Is it better for the for the environment? Um, what is what are some of the uses for this? Why is it important? Well, I called my real estate agent the other day, Kyle von Coburn, and I said, "Hey, Kyle, can you give me some really high productive land so I can go grow some crops?" And I don't want to pay anything. I got, <laughs> I got news for you, Doctor Timmons. All the good land is taken up. I got really. So I said, Kyle, we got a problem. There's going to be two billion more people to feed in the next thirty years. How are we going to feed these people? Right. And I go, hey, I know. Aquaponics. And uh, and why is that, Dr. Timmons? I said, yes, why is that? Because almost we can capture all the nutrients that we feed the fish, the ones that they don't assimilate into protein that we can eat. Uh, we can give those nutrients to the plants. And then the plants are really happy. And they assimilate those nutrients. So those nutrients are not discharged into the canals. And all the canals lead to the lagoon. And the lagoon leads to the ocean. And so that's a pollutant load that we can eliminate. And so our farm called. Oh, hold on. I don't know if they can see it. Here we go. Atlantic Pacific Jade. Food for life. Food for life. Right. So Atlanta Pacific Jade is part, partnering with Real Second Chance and some other Orlando-based companies into APJ plus PLUS. We're very inventive, right? APJ plus these other companies. Let's just call it APJ plus. And so we are going, we, APJ plus, we are going to provide organically produced seafood and veggies to the Orlando community. In fact, it's going into a project called the Paramore Project, which is right across the street from the soccer stadium. So you can go watch soccer and then you can come over and eat organic food. How much better does it get? Why is that important for, well, I mean, I'll tell you why. Paramore, for example, Paramore, for example. is, um, we're downtown city and there aren't a lot of opportunities in that particular district or neighborhood for grocery stores for whatever reason. There's a lot of different um, extenuating circumstances that, uh, but they don't have a place to go in that area to get fresh anything. They have to travel outside. And for a lot of people, uh, that's not necessarily the, the easiest thing for them to do, uh, given where they live and socioeconomic. And so it's so important that we have places like this that can bring them the fresh food, that can bring them the fresh seafood. Um, that's one of the things. Okay. So Professor Timmons is going to ask student Ted a question. 
What is a desert? A desert. Well, I did learn that desert has one S because dessert has two because you want two helpings. Now, this is this, this is a <laughs> desert, like with. But a <laughs> desert is. I think it's uh, all sand. Immediately, that's what I think of. Desert is sand and hot. Is there, any, is there a lot of food out there in the desert? No, none whatsoever, unless you come up to your mirage. So, so there's a, a term that was introduced, oh, not that long ago, maybe like the last 10, called food deserts. And so yes. people like in Paramore would be saying they live in a food desert because yes. it's not easy to get from where they're living over to get healthy food. Correct. So they live in a food desert. So APJ Plus is addressing that problem. So we will be giving them access to healthy food in their community. But it gets better than that, Ted. You know why it gets better? Why is it better? And wait, there's more. Yes. We give, we, we don't, we don't get, we don't get anything. Okay. We, we create jobs for the food desert, i.e. Paramore. And these jobs are a whole wide range of skill levels. They're from the very rudimentary this, which might be appropriate for a challenged person that gives them a meaningful job. And then it might be a super computer science kind of person that is controlling the production system through the cloud. I mean, like stuff I don't understand, right? So all levels of job skills are required in this particular project. So this can employ a lot of people. It has a, a positive impact on the community itself, which has a rippling effect on the positive impact it has further reaching bigger communities, Central Florida, for example. When you, when you impact a community like that, I know for a fact that everyone benefits. It's not just that community. Uh, kids are healthier. People are healthier. Uh, job creation is so important. And all that does is do it. It's positive for our society and the growth that we want. So um, I, think you might, I think you might be able to say, oh, make Orlando better. Oh, make Orlando better. I like make Orlando better. Um, yeah. But you're, you're right. I mean, it's it's such a cool concept that I think people just have a hard time wrapping their heads around until they actually see it. So we've run out of time. Because we talk a lot, Mike, and I love it. I could talk to you for hours, but tell them where they can reach you the best way so they can find out more about your book and what you do and aquaculture and all of that good stuff. Yeah. Okay. So um, apjplus.com. That actually has a website that will tell you about the big project. And then uh, I love getting emails and text messages. So my text message is or my phone area code 607 227 5638 that's the easy way and then oh yes oh this is my favorite look at this dad oh what's that oh, what's that this is the only uh, fair trade scallops available in the whole united states and i sell it on oh. my website called Professor T. Dot fish. Yes, and that's scrolling across the bottom too. There we go. And that has my 10 commandments. And among those 10 commandments are is I treat you like family. And yeah. here's the key. If I would not feed it to my grandchildren, I will not sell it to you. Love it. But these you heard it. You heard it there first, Professor these, T. These are so good. That's all oh, we have. I, I got to try them. Scallops with bacon in the broiler. Oh, um, making oh. me hungry. Oh, it's only two o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Professor Timmons, you're a joy. You guys reach out to him, uh, Professor T. Fish or APJ. Farm or Ted's Community. Com. We've got all of it there. All of Mike's contact information. You can reach out. Thank you for educating us today, Dr. Timmons. That was awesome. Thank you, Ted. I, I really do appreciate being I with you. I love it. See, he's become a natural, guys. So give him some.